Hello there folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. If we haven't met before, my name is Ash and I am the curator of this channel. And it's a place where we come together to talk about men's style, self-development and personal grooming. And for me that involves around about two shaves each month I capture on film and I share with you, with you guys. And more often than not, those shaves are in the outdoors. I've got an outdoor shaving station, which I move around and I take around different places with me uh, as well. And I have shaves in the great outdoors, not just to celebrate the outdoors, but to celebrate the art of shaving, because it doesn't have to be purely a bathroom event where uh, you know it's something which is squirreled away out of sight. I am unashamedly standing in the middle of a field. You can see some some horses behind me. I'm surrounded by the great outdoors in the British autumn time. And today I am going to thoroughly enjoy this shave, which is gonna have a decidedly lemon flavor. Uh, and what am I gonna use? Well, let's talk about probably the most important thing really with these shaves is the, the shaving cream, which is what uh, really influences the mood and things like that. And today I'm delighted to be using a product as you can see called uh, London Oat Cake and it's in the Lemon Bloom flavour. Now I was recommended to this by a fellow YouTuber called Jim Will Shave and Jim uh, shares his shaves with the world and he having seen that I've previously favoured citrus uh, flavours or uh, you know, fragrances he recommended this one to me a little while ago and uh, I'm delighted to be giving it a try today. So outdoors here, I've got a mug of hot water, which has come with me in my little flask of hot water. Um, I've got a big mirror here, just to my, to my left. And uh, what else am I using today? Well, I'm using, hang on, I've had it steeping in some water. It's my Taylor of Old Bond Street uh, Badger brush. Had this for probably five or six years. Should be just right for shaving soap, which obviously needs a bit more, you know, a bit more spine in the brush. Um, and I will be using to cut those bristles, which I've got just about two days of stubble, not too much. This is a Merca 45, also known as the Merca Bakelite. And it's, it's an extremely light, uh, small razor, actually. I often, you know, often described as a, a travel razor, but it's very, very light in the hand. So actually I'm still recovering from a broken collarbone, having had a fall off my bike. And you probably can't see it, but there's a rather worrying protrusion on my shoulder. I'm waiting for that to go down. Uh, it's been a month now since I fell off my bike, broke my collarbone. And uh, yeah, I don't know whether we need some intervention, some surgery there, but uh, feeling okay. I can still move the arm a lot better than I did a few weeks ago. But uh, yeah, I think that the skeleton hasn't gone back the way it should. But let's crack on with the shave. So first of all, what am I doing? Well, I've allowed my soap, that uh, lemon bloom soap, I poured a bit of water on top of it inside its container. Just pour that away. Uh, and that hopefully will have allowed the soap to bloom, to, uh, to come to a bit of a head and soften up. So you'll excuse me for grimacing a bit because I'm still struggling with this broken collarbone but I'm just gonna get the brush into that soap, load it up, a bit more flopping out, load that up, and I'm gonna go straight onto the face in a moment. So I'm just gonna wet the face, got a little bowl of water here. Wet the face, let's wipe my hands, wet the face. And now with that pre-loaded brush, I'm just gonna get it onto the skin. A bit more water, get it going, get it agitated, and uh, Let's get that, let's get that soap doing its work, eh? Lovely fragrance on this, it's lemon, um, and a lovely lemon actually, it's a subtle lemon, it's not horrific, it's not unpleasant, but uh, it really does, yeah, it's got a lovely, lovely fragrance, which, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for lime, lemon, and citrus fragrances, to be honest. It will be different, difficult for me not to like something which is lemon or lime or a combination of both uh, and this is an artisan manufacturer um, London um, so look, 100 grams I think this cost about 12 pounds 95 so you know I'm not a um, I'm not a huge fan of artisans to be honest but when they were recommended by somebody I know to be an, a superb shaver like Jim will shave 
recommend you check out his his channel I thought I would give it a spin I have used it once before and it does give a nice little shave so there we go happy with that nice little good coverage pleasing fragrance good coverage I don't use a lot of soaps to be honest I tend to favor creams uh, creams predominantly because they give a nice s speedy lather very quickly in the process so let's get on with it the Merca Bakelite the thing with this chap and I'm just warming it up in my water here because I always believe that the steel performs better and I should have told you actually that the blade I'm using today is uh, a Derby Extra so moderately mild razor blade because this shaver has got a very convex shape to it and it it holds the blade quite aggressively I think personally and of course because it's extremely light and I'm going to get on with the shave now but because it's extremely light um, you've got to put a bit of pressure on it to push down on the face and for some reason I have found that I've often cut myself using this this razor so I've deliberately loaded it with what I consider to be quite a mild blade in the Derby Extra. There we go, nice. Uh, although it cuts rather well, when you get used to it, of course, which is the key. But yeah, two days of stubble and uh, offering no resistance to this second use Derby Extra blade. I often find that razors, which I consider to be very aggressive in nature, and I don't use many of those, I mean, you know, I'm not a stunt man, I'm a bloke who wants a nice clean shave a couple of times a week, uh, so I don't go stupid on razors, but um, I find that razors, which are quite aggressive in their presentation of the blade, um, I counter that by using what I consider to be perhaps less of an aggressive blade. My, my go-to blade, a bit of wind, my, my go-to blade is normally a feathers. Um, but I find in a razor like this, that leaves me with loads of little weepers. So I, I alter the balance by using a less aggressive blade. There we go. Nice. Ah. It's really nice now that my busted collarbone is uh, allowing me to get my hand up here to pull my, my skin taut on the jaw. For the last three weeks, I really couldn't raise my hand above my sort of breast level. So uh, it was a bit, of a bit of a wrestling match to get a decent shave around the neck. But it's feeling a lot better now. Shan't be falling off any bikes again for a while, I can tell you. But the autumn's arrived as we're in the outdoors and I've been shaving in the outdoors now for oh, probably three or four months. Um, the autumn is definitely arriving. It's still warm, you know, it's, it's, uh, the UK is a temperate climate at the end of the day. Never gets really, really hot. Never gets really, really cold. Although we seem to spend a lot of our time talking about the weather here. It's kind of quite passive, I think, in the UK compared to other countries I've been. There we go. That's looking good. For a first pass, no complaints. That's it. One little nick, nothing to speak of. Didn't feel it anyway. Right, that's that. That's the first pass. I'm going to do a second pass and I'm keeping it moderately um, impassive today. I'm not going to go nuts because uh, it's a Sunday afternoon when I'm filming this and uh, don't really need to be super cleanly shaved tonight. I'm working tomorrow, but working from home. Nobody's going to see me in the flesh. They're only going to see me on a computer screen, as we do all business these days, I guess. So, you know, you can't really tell if somebody's had a really good shave, can you? So it's on your, it's sort of on your honesty these days that you keep up the clean square, you know, the square cut jaw, uh, as we do. There we go. Not bad. I still prefer, I don't care what anybody says, I still prefer the creams. I just fancy they give me a better, um, you know, lubrication when it comes to the soaps. Although I recently did a uh, one of these shaves using some bathroom soap and I was amazed how, how well 
I was able to get a lather out of some complimentary hand soap, which I picked up from a hotel visit. There we go, shove that on. Let's get on with it. Don't want to hang around, don't want to keep you people on a Sunday. You're probably off to church or whatever. Right, watch the Antiques Roadshow for that snooze in the chair after Sunday dinner. I'll be having a Sunday dinner in a minute after I've shaved. There we go. Let's get that off there. The lemon fragrance is really quite pleasing. It's subtle, you know, it's not a smack in the face lemon. It's more of a pleasing fragrance. And uh, let's cut across the green, really. Don't want to cut the same way I just cut. Get that off there. A couple of little nicks there. Obviously, I picked up on the chin. You probably can't see them. Just poking through my shaving soap. It was a good shave. Get a bit under the nose. Those hard to reach bits under the nostrils. Perfect. Right. Now you'll notice I'm shaving the same way I did on my first pass under the chin. That's because, as I say, I'm not out for close scrutiny. Right? I'm, uh, I'm not on parade tomorrow, so I'm not trying to get that super smooth BBS shave because uh, it'll cause aggravation, irritation of the skin. And uh, what with 2020 being the year that it has been, I found that I have shaved less you know, I, I go a day or two in the week without shaving, whereas in the past, I would have shaved every day, so my skin has actually softened up a bit. And it doesn't like super close shaving. But, you know, it'll soon come back, it'll get used to it again, when we get back to normal. There we go, shave all that off. Lovely. That's it. Nice and soft and smooth. There we go. Wonderful. Feels good. Yeah, got all those trouble spots. So that's it. That's my shave. That is my shave. Bit of water on the face. Ah. In the great outdoors. Looking good. Get all that off. Yeah, so in a recent video I, I sort of decried um, artisan soap manufacturers because they charge a lot of money for, you know, something which uh, is not difficult to produce, one would argue. Uh, and it's all about the fragrance to me. I mean, I enjoy the fragrance. Um, and this was really good. I didn't object to using that at all. It is money that I could have invested elsewhere, but it was a good shave, lovely fragrance, and it'll marry well with what I'm about to put on. So first off, as I say, a bit of irritation these days on the skin. So I'm using Humphrey's Witch Hazel, uh, and I'm using the citrus version, as I'm staying with a citrus theme today. So I'm just gonna pop some of that on the skin. I like this stuff because it's obviously an astringent. It's good after you've just had a shave. It's anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's also anti-infection. So it protects the skin, tones the skin. You can put it everywhere. It's good for you. And it's natural. And it feels good. There we go. Shove that on. And now to finish off, fragrance. Now, fragrance is a really big thing for me. I'm a senses sort of guy. And one of my favorite senses is the sense of smell. And when I shave, the reason why I really enjoy shaving with a double-edged razor is because I like to layer up my fragrances or to use fragrances which lift my, my mood and put me in a different mood for the day. Uh, and in this case, I've used a lemon scented soap. So I'm gonna use probably the ultimate lemon scented cologne. And uh, that is Agua de Colonia Concentrada by Alvarez Gomez. And this is a classic lemon fragrance. It is probably the most lemon fragrance you can have. And it is, uh, it smacks, oh, there's some blood coming through there. It absolutely smacks to me of the Mediterranean, the Amalfi Coast, those lemons. Uh, beautiful, beautiful lemon fragrance. And let's have a little whip. Colonia Concentrada, Álvarez Gómez. Mmm, very lemony. 
In fact, and I'll say this now, because I think um, I'm going to do a review of this for another bit of content for the channel. Too lemony, if there is such a thing. This for me smells a little bit candy-ish lemon. Uh, I'm going to pop that on the face. Ah! Oh Christ! My shoulder's not playing the game. Very candy lemon. Very, very, um, God, very zingy. Obviously a lot of alcohol in that. And absorbs well now. Feels good, but it's very, very lemon. Um, but it's the sort of lemon that it smells like something you should eat rather than something you put on your face. I do like it though. It absolutely puts me in mind of um, the Mediterranean, you know, all the the lemon things that you, you smell there. And it's very much in keeping with the oat cake. In fact, the only thing it does put me off, the horses you can see over my shoulder, um, they belong to my wife. and. Uh, this time of year, they, they're plagued with flies. The flies are all around their mouths and their eyes, you know, after the moisture on the animals. And uh, she puts this stuff on their face called citronella. And it repels, for a very short period of time actually, it repels uh, flies, you know, and you'll, you'll be familiar with citronella because you often, you know, you can get the citronella candles that you can put in, in a barbecue to deter, you know, the midges and the other blood-sucking critters, which, uh, which plague you when you have a barbecue. That smells so strikingly similar to that that, they, that my wife puts on the horse's face that it could it could pass for it, and it, perhaps it's probably a mental thing, but it puts me in mind of that when I put it on my own skin. Um, and see, it has nip, it's bitten me a few times that razor, little few little nicks. Um, so it puts me off a little bit. I do use it. It's uh, it's quite mild. It's a, it's an eau de cologne, so it's towards the bottom level of concentration when it comes to men's fragrance, and it's got a really great history going back, you know, quite some time. It's got a great story behind it, which I'll tell you in the review of the fragrance. Keep your eyes open for that in a future video. But that's what I've applied today, and to finish off, just to to sort of treat the skin, let the skin repent after having a rough shave with that Mirka 45 Bakelite, I'm just going to apply some good old Nivea for men aftershave balm. Now, I really love this stuff. It's as cheap as chips. It's as, you know, cheap as any old thing. I pick it up normally about £2.50 in budget drugstores. It's got a lovely mild fragrance, which doesn't argue with any fragrance that you put on. It helps lock in the fragrance. And it just absorbs so easily into the skin, makes the skin feel wonderfully protected and conditioned, that uh, I use it all the time, all the time. Over the last 10 years, this has probably been the most used balm that I've ever I've had in my collection. Never without one of those and a spare one in the, in the cupboard as well. Um, so there we go. That was my shave of the day, using London Oatcake Shaving Soap in the Lemon Bloom fragrance, courtesy of the recommendation by Jim Will Shave, uh, and then I used this Merca 45 Bakelite, um, which you know it's caught me a couple of times, a couple of little nicks. Then I have used some witch hazel in the citrus variety. I followed that up by Agua de Colonia Concentrada by Alvarez Gomez, which is a good old cologne, and finally a bit of moisturization with Nivea for men post shave balm sensitive version. So that's it. That's my shave for today. And now I'm going to pack up and trip back down the house for a Sunday dinner. I hope you guys are having a great time it's bringing in the autumn and, uh, and getting outdoors as often as you can. It's really so much uh, nourishment for the soul to spend time outdoors with the animals and, and all that nature can bring if you have that opportunity. If you don't, well, vicariously enjoy it with me, enjoy my shaves outdoors, and I hope they bring you some pleasure. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you stay safe and well. Look after yourselves and your families. Stay safe, stay smelling fresh, clean shaven, and I will see you again very soon, back here at the Chaps Guide. Until then, please take care. All the very best.